Hello and welcome to the Zenata Consulting Beginner Series. This one is on Zoho Sign. I'm Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colt. Let's get right into it. So uh, Tyler, Zoho Sign, we're going to cover a few things over this series, but the first one we're going to start with is pretty much how to set up a template. We get asked about this a lot. It's really a simple process. You just click into templates when you're in Zoho Sign and then go ahead and click on create a template. It's then gonna ask you to upload your template here, put some sender information in, those kind of things. We're gonna cancel this because we've already kind of set one up. We don't think we need to bore you with this. So we've got a W9 template here. So let's say you've got an independent contractor and you want to hire one. I'm gonna kind of mimic the process we would go through by creating a new template just by hitting the edit button. Yeah, so a couple of things to kind of take note of on our template page here. Up at the top is where you're gonna load in all of your various documents going to want to have those PDF formatted to upload. Um, one thing to note on that as well is that you can actually have multiple documents as part of one template. Um, so they'll kind of be signed in order when the person pulls it up. But so if you have a couple different documents for onboarding, you can actually do all of that in one uh, request for signature. Down here at the bottom of the page, we can define who all is going to receive this document and needs to um, needs to either review it or sign it. So by default, you know, you're going to want to have your signer in here uh, on the right hand side of the page, you can determine what action they need to take. So this person, for example, needs to sign all the way over on the right hand side, we can go ahead and add a new recipient. And so in this case, this is often where you might want to hard code something. So maybe we want to say Brett needs to sign these on behalf of Zanata. So, you know, you could add a role for internal signature or something along the lines of that. And then you could actually just say, you know, who this is, that's going to sign it by hard coding in their email and name. Um, so oftentimes, you know, you're going to want to countersign things. And so that's a quick and easy way to uh, set up the system to do that. Um, one thing to note as well is over on the right hand side, if you click on needs to sign, you can actually just determine different actions someone should take. So, you know, you could say they just need to receive a copy or they just need to approve this before it goes out. Um, so you're kind of able to build a little workflow into the process when you're sending out a template. Yeah, and this, by the way, mimics the standard thing if you were just to be sending out a document. And oftentimes, you know, you'll have, you're going to want to add me as the signature, as a signatory. And then you are going to have someone who just needs to, you know, receive a copy of it or they need to approve it, uh, like Tyler was saying. So you can, you can stack these pretty deep as you're building out these documents. Mm-hmm. And then kind of moving on to the template itself, um, I guess before we do that, we'll touch on some of these. You can actually define how long someone should have to be able to complete something, right? So in this case, they've only got one day, so they better sign quick. Um, you can set up automated reminders, you know, if you want to remind people every five days or every few days just on a set cadence, um, just to take a little bit of that off of you so you don't have to remember to send any follow-ups to people. Um, who need to complete their documents. Yeah, and it's important to remember once you create a template, whatever settings you put in here are going to be the same every time this template is set out going forward. So well, let's go ahead and take a look at the document. So again, we're kind of mimicking the create a new here. Basically, you would go through all of this, whether you've created a new one. We just had one preloaded here so that you can actually see the fields once they're done. And we can talk a little bit about that. Okay, so once you're in the document, this is where you're actually going to define the fields that people will need to fill out once they get this. And it comes with a bunch of predefined fields over here. So you actually have one for the person's full name, or you could even drop a text box in and put full name and have them type that. If you drop this field in, kind of a big difference between putting this in and just putting a text box in, it knows who they are because it's got it so it actually will automatically fill in their name. Um, so, and the same thing on the company. Um, but if you're sending something out generically, you basically can put basically all of these fields in right down to check boxes. So you can see check boxes are defined. And this is really just done by dragging this field over to a certain spot on the page. And that's where the checkbox is going to be. So you can kind of see, there it is. That would be a checkbox and where it would appear on the 
page. You can give it a name, who has to sign it, is it required, is it read only? Do you want it to be pre-checked? In which case it's gonna have something that can have pre-checked, give the field a name as to what description it is. So there's just a lot of granularity you can do as you go ahead and you start to uh, lay out uh, these basically sign fields. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and one one note is, you know, if we were to select any of these fields over on the right hand side, it kind of pops up all those pieces of information up there at the top is a real important one. So that's just saying who is going to fill this in. So currently, this is color coded green, it's going to be fillable by the signer. Um, if we click that, there's kind of more options. So you can have it defined as pre filled, meaning, you know, you're going to enter this before you ever send it out. And then if you have multiple signers, they'll all show up based on their name, just in a running list there. So if you had some signatures that you needed to run internally, you would just encode those as a, um, a sign to that recipient. Um, one last little note on this, if you are going to get a little fancy, is those data labels on the right are what you would use to create one of these with a function. So just kind of down the line, as you're aware, that's where you'll uh, map all of your data to. And then once you're done with the form, you're going to go ahead and save it. And now you have a template. And if you want to send out a template, it's a relatively simple process. So all you're going to do is basically go into your templates library where we are and then click on the form itself. And this is going to bring up a quick send. So you can go ahead and drop the email and the name of the person who is going to be the signatory add in your notes and go ahead and do a quick send and away it goes. You also can do bulk recipients, which is kind of nice. You can uh, just kind of upload a CSV file that has everybody that's going to get this. So, I mean, if you were doing a mass hire of 1099 contractors, <laughs> independent contractors, and you needed 50 of them to fill it out at a time, you could actually go ahead and upload the CSV into a bulk send and it would all go out. But it's a really, really simple process to go ahead and send out these templates once you've got them made. Uh, and that is Zoho templates inside of Zoho Sign. Thank you so much for watching our videos and tuning into our channel. We hope you found this useful. And if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notified anytime we put out any new videos. Thanks again for watching.